In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your digital audio workstation Cubase 5. First, you must check if your sequencer is up to date. At this time, we are running Cubase 5.1.1. Now, let's talk about the project setup. Open a new project and select Project Setup from the project menu. You can use the key command Shift S. In this window, you can select the sample rate and the record format you want to use for your recording according to your audio hardware. You can select the record file type In the pop-up menu named Stereo Pan Low, you can select one of the several pan modes which allows you to attenuate signals pain center. Experiment with the modes to see which fits best in a given situation. The bar offset lets you determine the first bar on the timeline. If you set 1 in bar offset, your project will start on bar 0. But if you set 0 in bar offset, your project will start on bar 1. The device setup. And now select device setup from the devices menu. Select the MIDI port setup in the devices list. If you suffer from strange MIDI timing anomalies such as erratic timing or events that are constantly recorded too late or doubling, you should tick the software switch labeled Use System Timestamp. Before running Cubase, your computer must have audio hardware with specific ASIO driver installed and working. On the VST Audio System page, select your audio interface from the ASIO driver pop-up menu. On that page, you must tick the multiprocessing option in case your digital working station is running under a multi-core processor computer. If your audio hardware supports the ASIO control panel function, in the list to the left, below VST Audio System, select your audio interface. When this is selected, you can open the control panel, then check or adjust the latency of your hardware via the buffer ASIO latency. Now you can click OK. This is it for the device setup. Let's have a look on the metronome setup. Make settings for the metronome in the metronome setup dialog from the transport menu. Activate the audio click will play back the metronome via your audio interface. Move left or right the sliders high and low to set the level of the click. Now it's time to name your project before starting anything. In the file menu, select Save As, give a name, and enjoy Cubase 5. 